Today we here to talk about the queen of smoochies, you know, miss, I'm a smoochie forever. By the way, I just, if a smoochie means stock, because I remember I was listening to one um drill rapper, she said, might send a smoochie to go line him. So I'm just like, yo, is that just what you call a setup thing over there? These smoochies, bro, if that is the case, you smoochie forever, you get a niggas lined? That's what you telling me, ice spicing tin? Huh? Ice spice? But anyways... We had to talk about Ice Spice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Apparently, she's being sued over a copyright infringement over in her mood. We here to talk about it quick. Now, you know, Ice Spice been doing her thing. I think she's previewing a new song. You know, a lot of people were talking about it. Basically, she said, like, she's a fighter or whatever. She said, everybody's like, what the fuck she's talking about? She's been running with it. She's been doing her shit again. A lot of these female MCs, they're not really bar heavy like a Nicki or a Remy Ma. Or women of that ilk, I'll kind of put a lot, of, a lot on there as well. Like, she does the pretty girl thing as well. But she, she has some bars on her shit a lot of the time. A lot of them y'all look here to make some turn up music, to look good. Talk about how you fucking on all these niggas. Um, how, how these niggas is tricking on you. You have your two to three year run. Sometimes you get four to five if, if, if you know what you're doing. And then y'all branch off and do like wig lines and nails and do some other shit. You know what I'm saying? And then the new crop of women come up, you know? It's like, that's why I look at Glorilla. I'm like, yo, Glorilla, like, you doing your thing, but you didn't have a run. Like, Sexy Red just came in. It's like, she engulfed your run. And it, like, it kind of did her thing with her run. Like, Sexy Red is like City Girls 2.0, low key. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, let's talk about it. According to TMZ, female draw artist, um... Fellow, sorry, female. Fellow draw artist D Chambers sued the Brox MC and her producer Riot USA for copying his 2022 track in that mood. Ice Spices in her mood is definitely one of her better tracks in her short but stacked catalog. I'm, I'm, I'm let this rock, but it allegedly might be the most uh, derivative. Moreover, fellow drill artist uh, D Chambers sued her and her uh, producer Riot USA for a copyright infringement. According to TMZ, the hip hop police, they know all they see. Ah, oh, you heard me. He claims that the Bronx MC and Riot copied his January 2022 song In That Mood, which is another drill song that uh, repeats this similar uh repeats this phrase with a similar cadence. Not only that, but according to the neighborhood talk, Chambers went so far as to alleged she stole his narrative content as well as the production the rhythmic phrasing of the chorus and the song and lyrics written in general furthermore d Cham chambers theorizes that riot could have heard the song played often in the new york city area he lived in and that he got um airplay on hot 97 so this could have made him come across it he also says he recorded in that mood a full year before ice spice dropped her snl highlighted track in her mood it <clears throat> is certified gold by r r i w a which means there's a significant financial incentive for chambers to claim rightful ownership of the single reportedly he seeks half of the publishing rights to in her mood damages and other forms of revenue Uh, I don't want to get copyright infringement, so y'all go check out the songs, but it kind of it kind of sounds similar. But yeah, I would play it here, but no. Of course, this adds to the many, many, many copyright infringement lawsuits that artists find in the music world every day. However, there is no telling whether this case will go very far or whether it will get cut early on in the legal process. For 1D, Chambers brought this suit forth and well, In Her Mood became a hit and the drill genre is full of thematic overlap that is fucking true common slang and very similar beats as such purely from a fan perspective it's hard to truly say what else ice spice could have copied from in that moon beyond using the phrase in a similar way which should be nothing new to anyone reading yeah. Yeah. <laughs> meanwhile with more music videos a debut album and a coachello slot on the horizon we're sure the 23 she's 20 fucking three wow Hmm. So she got popping like in uh, when she was 22 or 21. Anyways, we're sure the 23 year old's career will continue with no hiccup regarding this. We are not saying that the lawsuit won't move forward, but she has the numbers not to really worry about this anymore. Whether that's good or bad for the music industry is for you to decide. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. 
we hear stories like this a lot. A lot of times it happens to artists. A lot of times it's, uh, I remember, I think I did a video. There's this one artist. I think his name was AK. I think, um, I don't know if he was trying to say, yo, Kendrick stole his idea. Ooh, oh. Sorry, I had to yawn real quick. Kendrick stole his idea for like, um, the face morphing thing, um, in his in his heart part five because he did it in a song called family tree or whatever this happens a lot of the times so i think i did one recently uh i did one with big sean and somebody how huh? they were trying to say and you know and to be fair yes the way he says in that mood and her she says in her mood yes it's a similar cadence but i don't if his track did come out first that is fair again Motherfuckers is not from New York. Who knows? The motherfuckers could get influenced off of stuff. Especially in this New York drill scene. It's very sample heavy. A lot of niggas remix some shit, bro. And it is what it is at the end of the day. Now, again, I don't know. It, it's not that hard to come up with it. Like it, It's like when, um, I don't know. Um, I think it was Bryson Tiller had Exchange. And I think also J. Cole. Was it Exchange or Rap? It was one of them fucking songs. I think it was Exchange. Anyways, J. Cole had a similar beat, and then Bryson Tiller also had the same beat on one of his projects. And it was just like, oh, well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, like, niggas just used a similar beat. It was what it was. Like, there was nothing really to it. It happens from time to time. You know, different uh, content on the songs, but it was just the same fucking beat. With that being said, we also see this. Now, again, in her mood, in that mood, it's not that hard to come up with. And in drill, like, you don't have to be the most lyrical. You're trying to make some catchy shit, some shit niggas can pop to, can do the fucking, to get jiggy with and do a shimmy and get sturdy to. Like, niggas ain't doing that much. You ain't barring a nigga up at the end of the time. Now, yes, that is the same. Maybe the production sounds a little bit similar. But, like, again, it's not that hard. Let's not act like... Like, it, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't crafting, like, some shit that no nigga can do. It's like with the Juice Roll shit, and it was, like, interpolation or whatever the fuck. It was similar enough to a point, like, Sting still got it. And at that time, he was the bigger fucking artist, so it was what it was. And y'all was influenced off that shit to go make similar to your own shit at the end of the day. But, hey, it is what it is. We'll see what happens with it. Like, the article says, I feel like Ice Spice will be fine. If anything... They might cut his ass a chip to keep the book and it might settle. But honestly, it might make this shit go away. I don't know where she's exactly signed to, but her label will probably make this shit disappear go away. Like, again, if it gains some traction and hey, it's proven like this shit is very much similar and there's more to it, then hey, maybe Brody could come up. But yeah, at this point, bro, it's not like this shit have, don't happen every day here. It's like how we say when it's uh, the New Year's, New Year's, same old shit. Nigga, that shit happen every day. Be There's probably one nigga right now hearing some shit that's similar to his making a claim. It happens a lot. Again, he might have a proper case and we'll see how that plays out. But for now, gang, all I'm just going to say is, hey, we'll see what happens. Ice Spice doing her thing. She going crazy. Apparently, she got a Coachella spot. Uh, congratulations to her. And, hey, we'll see. But in the meantime, uh, D Chambers, you might as well go make some shit. You know what I'm saying? Go make some shit. Because motherfuckers might be like, who is this nigga now? You know what I'm saying? They might like your song. I want to go check you out. Just keep it coming. Keep pushing your career forward. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is at the end of the day. Say it. And maybe you could blow up and pop off as well. But besides all that, man, what y'all really got to say? Did y'all listen to both songs? Do you think he has a point? Do you think your Ice Spicing Tin is just the hardest from New York right now, bro? Anyway, in music wise, I'm not talking about her looks. So of course, we know she's pretty. But, anyways, like, subscribe, help your boy. I hope your boy grow. Comment down below. Check out the other videos. Besides all this, your friendly uh, neighborhood K.A. sent out for today. The black TJ there while they're doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe, trying to hit a little bit more there. And I'm gone. Shalom, zoom, peace, shalom, guy. Aye.